Good afternoon. We are really excited to be here at Finnovate to show you uh, some of the components and explain some of the benefits of our unique multi-channel banking solution that we call Bankworld. I know that after you've seen this, we'll be answering one of the most important questions that banks are asking today, which is how do we use our ATM channel to differentiate ourselves from our, our opposition and to create a very profitable sales channel through the ATM itself. In today's market, it's not unusual to find banks, even of modest size, that are processing in excess of five or 10 million transactions annually through their ATM channel. To our way of thinking, we see that as five to 10 million sales opportunities. And we believe that if a bank is not actively pursuing a program to close those opportunities, then they are missing a great opportunity for, for, for revenue generation. What we're going to show you is a rapidly customized demo that we created here in the last couple of days to demonstrate the power of the app solution that we're going to demonstrate to you. And you'll see that there's some local and topical content in there, and I think it'll be relevant to everyone here. The way I see it today, for those of you who have been looking at that question of, of how to maximize the customer experience and the revenue generation at the ATM channel, our job is to inspire you to answer that question. Let me hand you over to my colleagues, Patrick and Eugene, who will demonstrate a unique and exciting customer experience to you. Thanks, Lance. So this part of the presentation will demonstrate CR2's client application, which is an effective tool to drive both ATM and kiosk devices. Now, the focus of this presentation will be on how customers experience these devices when they're using them, but also on how banks can capitalize on their return on investment from these through innovative ways of how to cross-sell products and services. So one important point that I'd like to note, though, is although we're just showing an ATM uh, by my colleague with, uh, over there called Eugene, this is part of a multi-channel platform called Bankworld, which also caters for internet customers and uh, mobile app customers and customers on standard mobile devices as well. Mm. So on the screen behind me, we have a live feed to the ATM, which is currently running Bankworld, and it's been operated by my colleague, Eugene. So let's have a look at what's on this screen. Well, the first thing that you're going to notice is that this is a screen that is very different to other types of ATMs that you might see out there in the field. It's a very uh, a pleasing uh, visual representation that we're showing you here. Now, let's just look at some of the services that we've got. Well, as an example, this ATM is being opened up to both customers of the bank and non-customers of the bank. So you can see there's a, very, uh, a number of services, services here related to foreign exchange transactions and money transfers. So we're opening up this ATM to bring in new players so that the bank can generate revenue out of this ATM. So also at the bottom of the screen, you'll see this button that's relating to card not present transactions. This is a way that we can allow customers come up to the ATM even if they don't have a card with them and they can get access to a full set of services. So, Hugin, can I just ask you to go into the bill presentment services there for me? This, again, is an example of how we are customizing the services on this ATM so that it just shows local utility companies that are relevant to this uh, neighborhood here. So, one of the examples there is uh, college fees. So, a user could effectively come up here and pay their tuition fees by pressing the button and then making the payments using their preferred payment method. So let's go back to the main screen there. You'll also see that if a customer wants to get some assistance, well, they can come to the main screen, they can select their preferred language, and once they select a the language, then they can get information about the bank, uh, such as contact telephone numbers, or even information about the bank's products that they're selling. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do now, what happens when a customer walks up to this device and puts their card in? So Eugene is now gonna put the card into the ATM, and this is going to show you some of the segmentation capabilities that are operating in the background, where when the card pin is entered, we're going to profile the customer and make an exact match to the products and services and content that we should display to this end user. So here you can see that when we were um, in New York, when we arrived in New York, there was a major event going on with the tennis open. And what we decided to do was use the tools that we provide with Bankworlds to completely customize the screen to make it appealing to the customer who was using it. 
You'll also notice that we added a new service onto this uh, ATM in the form of a button. And we're trying to attract the customer to uh, press this button by saying, look, you can uh, win a, a, an opportunity to get a ticket for the open here. Uh, other things that we're doing here, we're alerting the customer that their loan has been approved. Now, at this point, the customer can say, right, I would like to draw down this amount of the loan, and then I would like you to deposit in this particular account, and then from that point onwards, they will be able to take out the cash. So that's just an example of how uh, the ATM is being radically altered to, to, to cater for, for this, this marketplace. Now, I just want to get one important thing across here. There are many examples of straight-through processing available in this product platform that we're showing you here called Bankworlds. And I'm not going to go into too much of those, but I'd like to really get you to, to go away with this important point, that the underlying technology that is driving what you're witnessing here today is going to give banks many opportunities for them to maximize the revenue that they can get out of their ATM and kiosk devices in a way that has never been done before. So I'm just going to now hand you back over to Lance. Thank you very much. In, in a short time, we've demonstrated the power of being able to create screens on the fly to create and customize at a personal and meaningful level what experience the customer has at the ATM. The ability to push, push down to the customer appropriate products, services, marketing campaigns. The ability to really open up the ATM channel to third parties. The ability to exploit those five to 10 million plus sales opportunities that come to you unsolicited every year. What we're doing is we're engaging not just at the level of competing for products and services, but we're engaging at a more visual and sensory level to gain customer business. I challenge each of you today to forget everything you know about the ATM of the past, but just think about the po possibilities that are there in the future, the revenue that can be generated. Thank you very much.